Hey everyone, welcome back to more Warhammer 40,000 Sanctus Reach. I'm Disturbing Puppet. We'll be continuing the Space Wolf campaign, at least the first Space Wolf com campaign today. There is a lot of construction going on downstairs, I think, so it is kind of noisy. I do apologize. Hopefully they'll be taking a break soon. Please load. <laughs> it suddenly got super quiet. I'll right, continue. All right, so this is the last skirmish of the first campaign, and then we have a story mission. The last story mission took like four and a half hours. I'm hoping the last one doesn't take that long. Um, I'm going to have to try to sort of plan around it taking a long time, though, to try to get it out in one. But today we just got the skirmish. It should be relatively quick, I hope. It's sort of random, gives you different objectives and things. Sometimes it's defending a position. Sometimes it's taking objectives. Uh, usually we can just win by wiping out all the orcs. It's usually a lot faster than going through the turn limit, which I think is a little bit of a weakness in the game. It's just sort of set up to give you this massive number of turn lengths, but um, it takes so long to get through the scenarios because of that sometimes if you don't wipe out the orcs. Overall, I am enjoying the game. It's a lot of fun, though. Space Wolves hold positions in the west. Orcs hold positions in the east. A clash over key central locations is inevitable. Objective for both sides is to control the most victory points when the turn limit runs out. Uh, there's a lot of troops, so this might be pretty high. At least 5,000 point. No, oh, 4,000. Okay. All right, we don't have artillery, I think. Usually the artillery is at the top here. Let's see. Who do we want to take? Probably grab the Storm Bolter Terminators. We'll probably grab all my regular Marines with Bolters. We'll probably grab all of my land speeders. Kind of my typical forces that I like. Um, I like doing hit and run attacks. The bikers are decent too for spotting for the artillery or just spotting in general. Um, the dreadnoughts are decent. All right, let's just grab you guys. We've got upgrades on a lot of these, so you can kind of see the level. So we have some increased um, abilities. So sometimes it's just increased armor. This is increased range and accuracy. This is uh, armor piercing and like kind of a force field. Let's grab all of my regular bolter troops. So there's different ammo things that will give you bonuses against infantry or armor targets. So I have kind of a mix of those. I have played around with the Heavy Flamer a bit, which is pretty good for taking on like big concentrations of the enemy. Uh, what are we at? 27. Actually, where are my... There's my land speeders. Let's just grab all my land speeders. Um, because of the level ups and increases that I've got for them with the Mastercrafted weapons on him, or I've got Mastercrafted and anti-tank ammo, these guys are really good at taking out the enemy killer cans, which are sort of the uh, Gretchen Dreadnoughts. And taking them out is kind of the only thing that's very difficult for the Marines, just because I don't have a lot of heavy hitting units. My regular guys with heavies just have heavy bolters, no las cannons or anything. Um, I haven't actually seen las cannons yet in this, so I'm not sure how effective they are in general. Who else do we want to take? We might take the heavy bolter guys. Um, these guys do heal over time as well, with one of the abilities that they got. So if they get shot up, as long as they get killed, they'll heal back. At least one of the dreadnoughts is tempting. You've got extra armor, you've got armor, mastercrafted weapons. And HP for kills. Let's at least take you. The Venerable Dreadnought is really good in close combat, but he does has a Storm Bolter, which isn't that great for a close combat. Um, if I can get into close combat with him with the Axe, we can pretty much wipe out units. But the Storm Bolter isn't going to do a whole lot of damage, just one Storm Bolter by itself. That's what I meant to say. Let's grab some bikers. Let's take the lower level guy just to see if we can level him up. Who else might be useful? I'm start with grenades. Uh, we do have seeker ammo with this unit, so if we hit a target, we increase the accuracy of everybody else shooting at it. Let's grab him. Still a lot of points, it seems like. All right, let's go ahead and take the other dreadnought. Uh, Thunderhammer Terminators maybe would be okay if I put them in a Rhino and got them in a close combat. They're just too, a little too slow. Uh, we've got 420 left. What can I take for 420? 420. 
Um, so the Heavy Flamer is 260, so that would leave 160. Yeah, let's grab him. 160 will let me get what? Another Biker Squad. A couple units of Blood Claws. Blood Claws I don't find particularly effective just because they just have Bolt Pistols and Chain Swords. I don't really get into close combat that often. Let's grab some extra bikers, I guess. Um, you've got some armor penetrating rounds. Let's take you. And you've got stasis and longer range. Just this. No, just the Auspex. All right. I think that's fine. We'll take the other unit instead. All right, now we've got deployment. I just want to see. So we have an objective here to defend. So there's another objective right there. So the orcs might actually be quite close. They might be right here. Yeah, this is kind of a short map, so they're probably very close. Um, so we want to charge straight at that, probably. And right outside the gates, we've got an objective. This is kind of a mess. We're going to have just rough ground. Figuring out lines of sight might be a little difficult. Maybe coming in from the edge would be better. So we might deploy some guys out here to kind of sweep up through the left. So we're going to throw something right at them here. So let's put the uh, Terminators with the Heavy Flamers there. We'll put a scout unit over here somewhere just so we can see what's there. Let's put you more centrally behind some cover. And the other bikers, let's put out on the edge so we can kind of see what's there. Actually, there's a lot of... I can't actually place anyone here because the debris is blocking the tile. So I can get about three units here. Let's actually put them in the back, and we'll put somebody else out front, maybe. Terminators or Dreadnoughts, probably at least one of them. We've got armor penetrating here. Let's put you as one of those units. Let's put... You there. We'll put my other Dreadnought, who's a little bit better, out here in the open. Who else wants to join that force? Uh, I'd like to keep them here. Yeah, I think the orcs might be really close. Heavy bolters, let's hang out. I could move somebody else out here. Let's kind of hang out behind the hill here a little bit. Put some regular Marines up on the left, I think. It's a lot of anti-infantry, mastercrafted weapons. Yeah, so any infantry out here, they can wreck up. You guys can stay there. We'll try to advance in that way a little bit. You guys are just sort of general marines. No real special gear. Let's throw you out there. Got some armor penetrating rounds here. Let's hang out sort of by the hill. Anti-infantry. These guys are a little bit longer range. Let's park them there. And we'll spread out the land speeders. We have kind of one on each section of the battlefield where we're going to be moving up. We can actually kind of hide. We can sort of pop out from behind cover, take shots, and then move back. So that's kind of the plan with them. And you can hang out more centrally, I guess.
Just in case I get reaction shots. Can I change my facing? Apparently not. You can only look straight ahead. Alright then, let's put you there. Okay, that seems sort of appropriate. We've got a bit of a force here that we're going to try to sweep up to go for the back. We'll have them come in as well. Probably them come in heading in this general direction. This force is going to go straight, take these, and then we might shift and head left from there, depending on how things go. So kind of a pincer coming in from each side on the flanks. Depends on just how big of a horde of orcs we have coming at us, though. Let's see what they got and how close they are, too. I can see red on my minimap. Yeah, waste your shots. That's fine. So they aren't as close as I thought they might be. Which is actually good. Range gives me more of an advantage. Just the amount of firepower I can throw out is kind of ridiculous. And they are on that objective. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm sure if we scout a little bit, we'll spot a whole bunch. So let's just move up a little bit. What is that? A pain boy. Okay. Let's go ahead and use our Auspex. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Could be worse. We've got one kill a can with a rocket. The war boss is back there. So we can actually see pretty far with the Auspex. This is a lot of knobs. The knobs can take a Massive amount of punishment. I wish I had artillery. What's my chance at the pain boy? We'll take some shots at him. We'll hit some guys on the way, maybe. Uh, I just don't want him healing if I can avoid it. We'll probably move them back. Um, we'll leave them now just to keep spotted. And let's throw the heavy flamers out there and see. We'll draw some fire if we move up. So the red tiles here, if I move, will take some overwatch shots or reaction shots from the orcs. I don't think... I might be able to hit one or two of them from here with the heavy flamer. I'll also flame that direction. Let's take a look. We can move a little bit if we want and see our range. If we go that way. Okay. Take a little bit of fire here. That wasn't too bad. Let's flame those guys. Uh, I thought we'd hit them too. I guess the wall does totally block that. Put out there. Can't hit anything. That's too bad. Not as effective as I would have hoped, that's for sure. We don't get a reaction shot with the flamers, unfortunately. So we'll just have to live with what we get. We'll have you guys just blast the crap out of everybody here. Go for the pain boy. Dead. Got a knob back here too. Can't see him. Uh, let's hit the burners. Nice job. Nice job. So I already have them shaken. So we'll get some of their morale back at the start of the turn. I'm not sure how much the knob being there will affect that. Um, I tend to try to kill off the leadership if I can when I see them. grab the objective. Well, that's my chance there. That's not bad. Let's go for the kill a can. Not doing very much. Range does affect your damage. We're not that far away, though. Uh, facing them also matters, so you do have front, side, and rear armor. So if you can get to the side or rear, we're probably still considered front there. I would guess. Probably should have just taken out the buggy. Since I didn't really get a lot done there. 
Uh, let's try to swing out wide here, take some shots at the guys that are out in the open. I can heal with these guys. We've also got the Tempest ammo, which is pretty good. Extra armor. Kill them off. Nice little bit of shooting. Um, let's move you guys. You're a little weak. I don't really want you exposed. I can avoid it. So hopefully they'll target the Dreadnoughts or the Terminators there. The only one that I'm really concerned about would be the Rocket Launcher. He could also send a whole bunch of these knobs to try to do melee attacks. I might actually reposition these guys over. So we do have the Seeker ammo here, um, so let's fire some shots. We'll soften some targets up, but it also means we'll be more likely to hit them with everybody else. So we'll kind of tag the knobs here. What else do I want to do? Just kind of tag the front units. Actually, I'm not sure that hit the right unit. I actually shot the other unit. Where can you get to? Let's go ahead and move them out of the way so we don't get shot by our own guys. Hang on behind cover. All right. So now we've got, yeah, 140%. We do have anti-infantry ammo, it's just not doing as much to the knobs. Yeah, it's weird, I'm shooting at the front target, hitting the guys in the back. Weird. Soften the knobs up a little bit. I'd like to be able to kill somebody here to wreck with their morale. Um, we still have the land speeders that we can use some hit and runs with, though. get some reaction shots. So even from here, we've got 110. Kind of far away, but still doing okay damage. Heavy bolters, can we see anything? I can actually see something from here, which is kind of surprising. Only a 10% chance. 115. Um, okay. I don't know how you have a 115% chance to see them, but... Sure. Okay. A little bit less damage because we're at range. But that's alright. Okay. little concern there might be some more orcs hiding right in here and I'm not sure I want to isolate somebody quite so much. Just see if we can spot anything with the regular units. Took out some terrain there as well. One thing I do like in this game a lot is that the wrecks, if they aren't destroyed, actually become cover. Which is kind of neat. You can destroy cover, and then stuff can also become cover, which is pretty awesome. Let's see. We do have armor penetrating shots. What's our chance here? 65 isn't great. Go for the orcs out in the open. Why is it only 55? I guess there's a lot of cover in the way there. All right, we'll take the 65. Excellent. And I guess we'll take this shot. We might destroy some cover accidentally. Or we can just slaughter them. That's fine. That works for me, too. Let's do an Auspex here and see what we can see. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff. So 
Everything's just going to come marching down at me here. Uh, got a shot. I guess we'll try for... Not a lot of damage. Pull back a bit. Don't know if I'm going to have a target here. Yeah, we can't actually see them. Okay. And let's just look forward. Oh, I'm just fighting off a sneeze here. Oh, okay. Um, I could move him out and try to take a shot at range, or we could just try to get an overwatch shot at something. Let's just try to sneak up a little bit and see if we can see anything. I don't want to move out very far. That's about as far as I want to go, really. Yeah, we'll take some shots from here. Taking shots on my turn doesn't affect being able to take reaction shots, so I might as well if I can. Stay there. All right. Let's try to do a little pop up, shoot, and run away. Let's go for the burners as well here. Take the shot, and then we can kind of move back behind cover if we want, or we can hang out on top of the hill. Um, let's actually do that, and let's look this way. There's a lot of orcs out this way. We might get some shots on as they advance up. Let's do the same. We'll kind of pop up on top. Burn down somebody, hopefully. Oh, he survived. Well, you can wipe out a unit will affect morale, so let's go ahead and just do that. It's a little bit of morale. The knobs are still fine. And do I want to use them for a shot or hide them? Probably early on I want to hide them more. So let's kind of hang out here. Kind of hiding behind the cover. I like my hit and run attacks. Uh, a little far back here to get a shot in. Could kind of hang out back here. Maybe we'll have long enough range. Trying to wipe out the front units here if I can. Just direct with the morale, do some damage. And we'll move back. So if they move in, we'll get some shots there from them, hopefully. I think that's everybody. I feel like there's just a massive number of targets here to go after. Uh, this break between the lines here is a little bit dangerous. Kind of see where he moves the kill of cans. They're sort of my priority targets. Alright, zoom out. We'll give him a chance to go. Instant kill. Look like teleported over there, it looked like. Not much damage, but the flamers do affect your morale a lot. Shoot at my Terminators, it's fine. Kill a can is more what I'm concerned about. Good, went for the Dreadnought. I think you'd do more if you went for the Terminators or the other infantry. Redeploying over. Thought those guys would kind of charge my Flamers here, probably. 
they can get into close combat. These guys are a bit dangerous. Soften them up a lot on the way. That grenade was really effective. Did 245 to these guys. Here, the pitter patter of little orky feet. Okay, that could have been worse. Let's check out that unit. Took a grenade right to the face. Wow. Yeah, they're in a bit of trouble. I do have some units that can heal or provide healing to others. Just checking. Like these guys, we do have a healing bomb. Um, so if I can move them over, I could probably move them and use it on the other unit. I think I can use it on the other unit. Healing them up. So my morale took a little bit of a hit, but we're not bad. Let's just shred these burners. Yeah, the Tempest ammo hits all men with full power. It's really effective against infantry, just wiping them out. Shot down there. Uh, let's not bother with that. Could throw the grenade, but it's not going to do much. Just take a step back. Uh, what kind of angle can I get here? I want to flame as many units as I can. Could go right in here and flame some people. We could try to angle it and flame in through the opening. That's my chance. 70% on him. He's almost dead. I do actually have a melt -a bomb on this unit. So if I can take out the knob, we can actually ride in and melt a bomb the kill a can. We'll say goodbye to the knob. We'll say goodbye <laughs> to even the wreck of the buggy there. This might be a little bit crazy. Let's melt a bomb him. Nice. Killed them. Got to level up. What do we want? All units within three tiles gain 20 morale for melee kills. We don't use melee that often with the bikers, but sometimes. Uh, smoke grenade. We take the wolf rage. Sometimes the morale is a bit of a problem. Let's... Got some cover. These guys are more open. Sort of. I guess the wreck of the kill a can is affecting my... Accuracy there, 55, 60, 15. I guess we'll take a shot back there just because we'll then run away. Still feel like that's a little close. It's a lot of units. You can get swamped, which is usually when I lose units is when I just end up getting swarmed and overwhelmed. Not sure if I want to have the flamers go in here, or if I want to have the other terminators go in. I think we'll have the flamers move in. What can I hit? Those two. And again. Didn't actually do a huge amount of damage, but we broke him. This guy's almost dead. 
So if you're broken, I mean, they will get somewhere else. Start the turn, but if they stay broken, they can't advance or attack me. Let's see. Let's move out this way. Still can't see these guys. It's kind of weird. Knobs back there. Got knobs here. Just finish them off. And let's go for the weakened unit. Nice. Try to go for kills because I want to wreck their morale primarily. If I do damage, they are less combat effective. Um, so that is a consideration, too, is kind of whittling down your priority targets. The more you hurt them, the more or the less damage that they'll end up doing. I guess we can come up here, take some pot shots. Chances are really low. They've got some cover. This is just sort of bonus. Mainly the bikes are to scout for me. Not really to do damage. Sometimes to grab objectives in the last second. Okay, you guys are mostly fine. Shoot us back there. He's dying. It's alive. Three hit your left. Okay, you guys, I actually want to move over so we can try to heal them up with the other hunter unit there. Far can you move there? Okay. All right, let's go ahead and move them over. Let's see if we can do it diagonally. I'm not sure. For us there we go. And the Let's face that direction. I'm not sure how much we can see through all this stuff here. And everything's out of range. Um, if something comes this direction, we might end up shooting our own guys. So you will actually hit your own units, so it's something to keep in mind as you move around. Heavy bolters. I guess let's grab the cover. Nothing we can see, really. Keep an eye that way. All right, Dreadnought, take that objective. Yeah, out of range of the flamer. Some shots here, the auto cannon. Just send the Terminators in. Uh, got a lot of cover in the way here. Can get closer with them. Death to those who Splat. Jeez. Yeah, we do actually have a shot here, too. 55. We'll take it, though. And they're gone. Okay. Yeah, so my plan is to kind of sneak around in here into the back, depending on how much defenses he's got back there, how many units he's holding back. I 
don't want to overcommit here quite yet. Yeah, we've got to kill a can back there. Screw that. <laughs> Take a few pot shots and then we'll try to move away. Yeah, we did okay damage there actually. Yeah, these guys are in a little bit of trouble. And I can't move through here because he's kind of blocking, unfortunately. That's not great. I'm not sure if we can see past here very well. But we'll have to hang out there temporarily. So we still have my land speeders to use. Priority targets are the killer cans if I can get to them. Probably leadership after that, and then the buggies, maybe, because they are fast. They might try to sweep behind me and grab objectives. I don't want to end up being out in the open. I do actually, with this one, have a void shield, so I've got a 30 chance to avoid shots. So I can sort of leave him out in the open temporarily. And he'll still be relatively safe. So let's do that, since we've got the void shield up. Soften up the knobs from behind. And kill off the war buggy. We're up high, so we can't be engaged in close combat. Uh, let's try to get him to see. Let's look that way. Hopefully we'll be okay there. He'll probably throw a bunch of grenades at him. See if I can get shots back here at the objective. Let's just go here for now. Okay, we do have some other targets. Let's keep hammering these guys that are closer. Let's finish them off. And now. Try to stay exposed a little bit, so I might be able to get a reaction shot off. We're far enough away with some of the stuff blocking that I think we'll be sort of okay. I know we've got a killer can out there. I might want to shift over so I can use them next turn on that left side. I might get a shot from here if I went all the way up there. It might be a little crazy, though. Let's just try... Ah! That was the wrong spot. But we did see some stuff. That's my chance. 55. I'll go ahead and take it. Yeah, we got him anyway. Okay. I meant to get one top right there. I think we would have been a little further away. Probably wouldn't have had a shot. Let's see. I could leave him here to have a reaction shot at the killer can as it moves up. We're back far enough we might be safe. I feel like I should probably move him into some cover and cover the extreme side though. So let's do that. So we'll kind of hang out here behind this crate or whatever and have shots that way. And that's everybody. All right. Back to giving the orcs their chance. Yeah, the war boss is still back there somewhere. Just gonna go meleeing my dreadnought. Probably not the smartest idea on your part.
Okay, I thought he would get into close combat there, but he didn't. These knobs are pretty dangerous. Yeah, there we go. There's some melee. Almost wiped out. Thankfully, he's not doing very much to my dreadnought there. Here comes a killer can. Oh, there's two of them. I'm glad we stuck behind the cover. Give us a little bit more protection. Something just blew up. Yeah, all these guys may just take pot shots at my land speeder here. You see all these like individual just little one dude running around. Nope, don't you dare kill him. Oh, that's bullcrap. <laughs> One lone orc finished him off. Now we just shot our own land speeder there a bit. And they're pulling back. That's it. Okay. Well, we did lose the unit there, unfortunately. The hyper aggressive little lone orc came down, finished him off, and then got killed by my terminators. What's your health? Not too bad, actually. You didn't take a ton of damage. Flamers! Let's just grab the objective. I know we'll take some shots on the way here. Should be okay. Enjoy some flame! Smell of burning orcs. Do I have melt a bomb, which we've already used? Could glow into melee combat. Could wipe out this unit here. Yeah, just for fun, let's do that. Give some extra morale to everyone around us. Sure. And let's hold off on using them. I hope we don't hit our own unit here. There we go. Nothing in range. Where to put the Dreadnought? I think maybe we'll swing out this way. We'll try to aim for maybe the war boss with him. And war boss is too far away. Um, hopefully we don't hit our own guys here. Okay. 
over that way. You guys can pull back. Alright, Terminators, let's just shred these guys. And the other knobs as well. It's an orc graveyard here. A few marines mixed in. And we'll just hang out here, I guess. Oh, we're in like a weird position there, I guess because we fought close combat. See if we can lure the war boss out, we'll just shoot him up. Let's see if I can get a shot on something to tag it with the seeker ammo, and then we'll just kind of run away. All I can see are these guys. Okay, got our Marines. We can move back in now that they've been healed up. How far do I want to push them in? Let's go there. One little orc left. What to do, what to do. Uh, let's grab the hill here. Still alive. Heavy bolters. What can we see from here? Anything? All right. Splat. And splat. health back if I kill stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, I just slash them up. Looks like I can hit them in close combat. We'll just do more damage this way with the lightning claws. They're still alive. Figured that would kill them off. Okay, you guys do have some armor penetrating rounds. What's our chance to hit? 90 there, or 80 back there. You've got armor penetrating shots as well. Alright, let's have you shoot at this guy. Let's see if we get lucky. Yep. Did a little bit of damage to him last turn, so I was kind of hoping we'd finish him off. Let's take the shot there. Pretty good. Um, we've got the bikers here we can also take a shot with. We've also got what, a scare grenade. We can immediately panic a unit if we want to. I'm just going to move up to hopefully get a better shot. Yeah, it's 10% better. Okay, good. Say wreckage here. We've got the wreckage from the killer can, so we do have a path in it looks like. Just want to double check. For now, let's just hang out out of the way. 
finish them off with these guys. A little bit of overkill. Got another target back there too. Wow, not anymore. Do they have Hellfire ammo, Metal Storm, Mastercrafted bolt weapons, yeah, Mastercrafted weapons, yeah. They're just going to wreck anything they see, pretty much. All right, land speeders, what do we want to do? I don't have many targets for you. Let's see if we can get shots on the war boss from here. A little bit anyway. Um, and let's just back off a little bit. Could do the same and try to move in and just hit the war boss. Oh, the one little dude there shooting at me. Take a little bit of fire here. Yeah, let's go for the war boss. That was pretty good. This should finish him off. Yeah, no more boss for you. Still a lot of orcs back there. But trying to take out their leadership. Any knobs, war bosses they've got, kill them. Then try to wipe out units to wreck their morale. Just to make them less effective in combat. The war boss can also be really dangerous in close combat. Uh, where do we want to go over here? Let's just see if I can see anything from here. What's a priority? Burnas, Combo Scorches, probably the Combo Scorches. Bye bye. Okay, I think that's everybody. Yep, okay. So you can see we've got a lot of them shaken, so if you're shaken, they do have reduced accuracy. If you're broken, you can't move towards the enemy, so like these guys. So we're doing pretty well. We'll keep pushing up this way and then start moving left. Well, these guys, we'll see if we can slide in this way towards that objective. And maybe we'll keep the Dreadnought in this area to keep them busy. Guys are taking a lot of damage there. Oh. I don't know why we didn't get a reaction shot ourselves there. seeing anything too dangerous. Flamers. Hmm. If I can hit some if I come out this way. Take some shots, but that's fine. Well, hopefully it's fine. Alright, what can I hit? One there, or one there. That's too bad. We'll flame the guys further back, and these guys can shoot and try to kill the closer unit.
Might have built a grenade here. Not quite. Now we can. Splat. And hopefully splat. Yeah, good job. Terminators. Let's go up. What else can we see? Uh, we could go for the back and hope we hit him and kill him off and maybe do some damage there. No, we killed the guy in the back, we just didn't hit the guys in the front. Now it's a bit slow. Let's move this way in case there's more stuff that's going to pop up back here. I don't really want to take this shot because we might hit our own unit. And if anything, we'll take out a Terminator, it would be an autocannon shooting him in the back. So for now, let's just face that direction. Let's see if I can get some shots from range. Just to soften these guys up a little bit. Run them down. Okay, we'll hold the objective. Not seeing a lot, so let's move in. Okay, what kind of a shot do I have? 55 isn't great, 35 is worse, but I'll take it. I keep forgetting to use these guys first because they've got the secret ammo. Uh, let's look that way in case they want to come down. We'll hopefully get some shots off. This orc unit here is still alive. Let's kill them off. Free up my dreadnought. your health. Just fine. Okay. Heavy bolters. Let's... Well, how far can you move? Not very far. Okay. Put them in front, which might be a little bit crazy. But we're far enough away. Hopefully they'll be fine. As well. Terminators are slow. Uh, we do have a target. Take a shot. Kind of hiding behind the cover back there. To kill a can. Should be able to get through there, I think. Let's just take some shots for now, though. Ouch. Yeah, we hit like everybody. Cut 
kind of sneak my bikers in if I want. But I feel like that's kind of a dangerous spot to throw them into. For now, we'll just kind of hang out here. We'll save them if we need to grab objectives. Do some scouting later. Could be stuff in the back here, I'm not sure. So I think I've just got my land speeders left again. Sort of my typical tactic. Unless something absolutely positively has to die right now. I usually do other stuff first. Take a look here. So that's fine. Let's grab the high wall. These guys just destroy units. Okay, looks like nothing else there. Could have reinforcements pop in at some point, though. So it's something I want to be at least a little bit thinking about. Uh, I don't really want to pull back quite yet. I could actually just grab the objective here. It seems like it's clear. I'm not seeing anything. Take a look that way, because something wants to move this direction. That's everybody. Well, somebody's still alive back there. Shooting me in the back. Didn't cover the edge there. Man, there may not be a lot of orcs left. Just see the two units and that's it. back here. Nothing. Bikers. What suspects just to see. Yeah, nobody's hiding. See if I can kill him with my flamers here. I think we're just going to soften them up. I don't think we're going to kill them off. Yeah, it's too bad. Uh, who do I want to get a kill with? Doesn't really matter too much. Most of these guys are level fours and level three. Shoot the... Not seeing anything. Just take shots. Yeah, even the amount of fire they've taken, they're still alive. Still doing relatively okay. Just the amount of damage they can take. The Nobs of Mega Armor are pretty dangerous as well. I've only seen them a couple times. Finish them off with the Dreadnought here, hopefully. Okay. That's it! That was all for the Orcs. Kind of figured that might be it, but I wasn't sure if reinforcements were going to pop in somewhere. I did get one unit wiped out. None of my guys leveled up, though, in that 
Yeah, I had somebody level up. I had the uh, bikers leveled up. I don't know why it's not showing. Usually here it'll show kind of any units that leveled up. That's kind of odd. But yeah, lost one unit. Overall, not too bad, though. So next time, I'm not sure when, because I'll have to schedule quite a bit of time or have to break it up um, for the last story mission, because the last one took forever. So hopefully this next story mission isn't going to take four hours or four and a half like the last one did. But that'll be it for today. Thanks very much for watching. Um, if you're interested in earlier parts of this stream or other streams of other games, including a bunch of Games Workshop games, I've got a lot of that stuff up on my YouTube channel, which is also Disturbing Puppet, which is one word. Thanks very much for coming by. Hopefully I'll see you again. Have a good one.